Hello, this time I'm going to mm, use the L3DT terrain program to generate a uh, terrain for the S2 engine. So let's see how that goes. As usual, I'm not too prepared, I just um, hit record and uh, hope that everything goes as it should. Anyway, head over to bandysoft.com slash L3DT and uh, go to download and download the standard edition, it's free and install it <coughs> sorry once you have done that you can open the program and uh, we will generate the terrain this will, will not be a lesson in this program so I will make it quite qu quick um, we click on create new project and uh, choose designable map click on next 1024 by 1024 you can choose bigger or smaller terrains but we will go with it this and the horizontal scale of one meter will give a world size of one square kilometer click on next and you can leave this as it is click on next here are some parameters for uh, setting the terrain I like erosion so I will make that strong and maybe a little more cliffs and ter terres terres ter I can't say that anyway it's hard to speak English uh, I click on next and we get a bunch of uh, maps that is going to be generated so we will check all those and click next we come to water floating just click next water table modeling click next attributes click next normal mapping click next light mapping um, most of the shadowing is done by the S2 engine, so we will set this, this to a low value, 0 0.1. Light mapping, uncheck water effects, click next, and texture settings, check make high resolution texture and uncheck split map, and click OK now the projects must be saved so let's do that and I have prepared a place for that here and we will call, call it my terrain now uh, all those maps will be generated I will make a pause while, while that's going on because it takes a while to do it so there we go. Okay, now all those textures are uh, generated and uh, we will need the height field and we will need the texture map. It's going to be S the color map in S2 and we will need a layers map and let's generate such a map, M go to operations, alpha maps, generate maps. In S2 we have four layers, here we have eight, but don't worry we can merge some of them together. So let's merge all grass layers into one. So here we are grass deep, we can merge into next layer standard grass like that let's see here we have one more so now all grass textures are in layer 6 uh, we can uh, merge the cliffs together no 
my old clips are in now all clips are in layer one so now we have four layers cliffs in layer one pebbles in layer two sand in layer three and grass in layer four click on next select uh, layers per image and set it to three check make high res uncheck split and there we go and this is is the um, layer mask so let's start by exporting the height field select that one right click select export uh, s2 want tiff files this program can't generate tiff files so i will choose bitmap and convert later and uh, i will uh, create a folder output so i can find my files later and let's call this my terrain hm for a height map and save click ok let's go to the texture map export tga is ok i will use png <coughs> and uh, let's call this my terrain texture like that and go to the alpha 1 map export and uh, my terrain alpha okay now we can close this program and uh, let's see what we have in our output folder okay we have our uh, maps here <coughs> uh, the height map is a bitmap s2 doesn't like that so i will convert it to a tiff file tiff convert uh, you can do that yourself in any program that can handle that I can delete the uh, bitmap file I don't need that one and uh, we will need uh, something more and we will need some uh, textures we will need five textures uh, and their normal maps uh, there are four layers of texture and uh, base texture so that's five I choose some grass some moss some rock mud and sand okay so now it's time to uh, open up the S2 engine and let's create a new scene call it my Terra and it should be one square kilometer 10, 24, two zeros will give that. Click on new and uh, next thing is to create a terrain. Click on new my terrain and it should be one kilometer. All maps should be 10, 24 
as that's the size we used in the terrain generator program. Uh, click create and uh, let's speed up the mo moments a bit like that and go back a bit so we can see what what happens. Okay. Uh, before doing anything, I will load up uh, some daylight. Well, something like that. Um, so let's uh, go to the terrain. What we ne ne now need is to import our textures, mark them, drag them into, uh, we should select the texture folder and terrain. I had already added them, but I can So what you do is you drag those over here and add them. I have al had already done that. This is from some old experiments. I will delete those. Okay, we need our exported files here or maps here so let's drag them in okay now go to the terrain props and start by importing the height map click on import there and uh, in terrains select our exported height map tiff file Open that one, add some smoothing, that's always nice. And uh, let's scale this down to half. Uh, if you leave it at one, the terrain becomes a bit too steep, I think. Click on import, and there we are our little terrain. Okay. Next thing, uh, we should drag our color exported texture map into color here, like that. And we will drag the exported alpha to the layers mask like that and now we can switch over to painting tool and uh, here we are going to add textures uh, so I will add sand as the be base texture and uh, let's give it some scaling and I always uh, start with 100. Um, mostly it goes quite good. Uh, I will uh, drag my rock texture here and the normal map. And um, now you can see uh, things are coming along. I will drag the load up a bit. Okay. Uh, go back to here. And we can tweak the height a bit. And the slope. Something like that. Okay. 
So uh, this uh, is the result of the color map and the height map. And now we are, if we go down here, I don't want it so shiny. Uh, we need to uh, add our layers, texture layers. So that we go to the first one, enable it, and let's add some. Grass there. And set the tiling. And now you have to play along a bit with the with the sliders. take down the speed a bit okay uh, to see <coughs> to get this working uh, it would have been quite good if uh, you had ca could uh, turn off the s uh, slope and height for imported uh, uh, layer masks because that would have made things more easy but um, apparently uh, this is uphills so I will use well mud instead okay and like this specular thing but let's see if we can bring it down a bit here we go okay and then continue with next layer some moss um, set the tiling Then you continue with next layer and same same procedure uh, drag the texture th there and uh, play along with the sliders to get it visible I will make a pause wh while doing that okay so uh, now ha I have added the layer 3 the last layer and play it along a bit, bit with the slope and height to get it visible and uh, here is the result uh, so I haven't done any painting just added textures to the layers and played among with slope and height and uh, well this is how to do it I hope you liked this little tutorial and hope I can make some more later on. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.